Hey y'all, is it normal to make sound effects under your breath during your day-to-day -day life, or is my neurodiverging? Well, I'm writing down the words neurodiverging. I want to see a full-blown Sith fight because somebody put a kazoo in Das Rebreather Mask. Please, it would be so good. Sneakily replaces your big text with text that looks like this. Hmm, something's off about this. Oh no, it's the ye old English nader text. From now on, I will be posting in big text, so watch out. I have stepped on 30 Tumblr users and hospitalized five. I could not see them. They were too small. I am sorry. I had a dream that I went to Nintendo and they revealed to me that all this time, the real Pokemon designer was this Russian guy named Vladivir Pokemon designer. And I asked him why he named Jigglypuff that. And he said, is Puff is Jiggly. Are you a jokester? And he crushed my head like an empty soda can. That wasn't a dream. It was a glimpse of your past life. Some girl in my class was talking about McDonald's shamrock shakes, and this yeehaw dude in cowboy boots said they suck, and then looked me in the eyes and said, What you're gonna do is go to Arby's and get yourself a mint chocolate chip shake. And he said it with such authority and certainty that I did so as soon as I got in my car. I see your concern, y'all, but this wasn't a man telling me what to do. This was a man who had important knowledge and shared it with me. He was aiding me on a quest I didn't even know I was on. You fool, that was Arby himself. Funny how his name is Neil Armstrong, when if you think about it, to Neil you don't Armstrong, you strong Neil, and the strong on the ground strong Neil. Thanks, John. You know, since this post is being read out loud by Seymour, I can make him say anything I want. Andy, make the background color boob 69. <gasps> you sneaky son of a bitch. Andy, you didn't do it right. They didn't trick you, right? Although they have a reputation as scavengers, hyenas are known to take down prey many times bigger than they are. I like how this implies the hyena took down the airplane. She did. If you went to a bar and the bartender was a mouse girl, you could ask for a drink and she would balance it on her head and say, For you, it's on the mouse. I love this. I need to see it in action now. You're in her DMs. I'm in his Sims world. We are not the same. 327. What did I do? 326. What's going on? 325. 324. 323. Just kicked this dude so hard his worms came out. Wait, I'm sorry, what? You know, it ain't too bad being locked in a magic tower. Free food, no rent, I get the read in peace, and the sun's never waking me up. Primarily because there's no windows, but you know, Made shit. When's this site coming out with a night mode? This site is being kept together with glitter glue and toothpicks. Stop making demands. God. Best road rage I've ever seen was this girl screaming out of her car window. I hope you don't fuck like you drive. I still think about that sometimes. That is an amazing bird. I am writing that down. I love recess duty. You overhear things that momentarily immerse you in a whole different world. Like, let's play ice cream chalk. She's the monster. This is how R.L. Stein comes up with ideas. Wizards thinking of clerics as hacks because we spent years of study learning the secrets of the universe. They cheated and got a god to do the magic for them. Clerics thinking of wizards as hacks because we spent years serving and cultivating a deeply personal relationship with a god. They copied down some cheat codes to make stuff blow up. You two should be upset at sorcerers. They got their powers because one of their parents fucked a dragon. And we don't make fun of the warlocks in this house, trust me. We, we, we don't. Target acquired. Dumbass mode engaged. This is baby girl. Holds up an adult man, probably over 100 years old, not even human. Yeah, it sounds right. Remember when the white women kept asking us to hashtag stuff? No, I don't. Could you elaborate? No. I love it when my silly words spread to my friends and then it spreads to their friends. Share my disease, you silly binguses. Don't click on that! Oh, phew, sorry, just be careful. Uh, m many people don't know that PDF stands for Poison Dart Frog. Wait, why? Like for dragons, reblog for dragons, reply for dragons, ignore for dragons. <laughs> dragons. If I was a mute, I would always be texting people with, I'm speechless, every time they tell me something, just to piss people off. Requesting permission to be a little silly, sir? Hmm. Granted. Personality is just a long-term commitment to the bit. It is it? I don't think it is. 
Descending from the sky at the break of dawn to inform the immortals I am here to talk to them about their cause extended warranty. Arising from the ground in the middle of the day to inform the mortals of their cause extended warrant. Flopping on the land in the middle of the night to inform them of their cause extended warranty. Th throwing magic cart pillows at you because I don't have a car and it's one in the morning. I just think the world would be a better place if we would all take a little bit of time to examine how we personally interact with stories. I, for one, am a complex network of interconnected stories stored on a meat-based drive. That is quite possibly the most terrifying way of describing a human, but honestly, same. That's not scary. What's scary is that you're a ghost and a skeleton working together to pilot fleshy power armor made by your mother. You know, I expected to regret making this post for entirely different reasons than I actually regret making this post. Wow. Wishing all of you a very merry, I suddenly have the motivation and time to write a minimum 10k fic, please. Whoosh. Listen, okay, I, I, I just want to watch two buff giant women fight each other. Is that too much to ask? Tried to be one with nature by going camping. But mosquitoes clearly mistook me for a human buffet. Turns out my blood is like the filet mignon of the insect world. Who oh, no. knew? Being gay is more fun when you have someone to be gay with. I think most people are interpreting this as wanting a partner. But also being gay is way better when you have a bunch of gay friends. Just saying. Can you believe it? This thing just told a lie. And it looks very sorry that it did. I will cuddle and protect. Look at its face. No one's going to throw you through a shredder. No one. I must confess, I absolutely adore it when my favorite TV show ends on a nail-biting cliffhanger, leaving me with sleepless nights, conspiracy theories, and a desperate need for closure. Thank you, writers, for adding a dash of existential torment to my entertainment. Great! I'm silly only on my terms. Sure, I'll call myself a silly goose, but you say the same about me a second later? Ho 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 ho! A real bungle on your parts. My enemies tremble at my feet, and you will do the same. Good day! Aside from bees and butterflies, bats are also one of the most important pollinators on the planet, especially in tropical and desert regions. Oh, lost in the sauce. My friend said, modern AU Odyssey, where it's just a fucked up road trip, and I haven't stopped thinking of it since. I'm sorry. Did you mean Final Fantasy XV? Credit to the original artist is not credit to the original artist. Payment to the cashier, I say as I haul a TV out the door of the Walmart. Do you get it? My only tactic for playing Pokemon is to be 20 levels higher than the opponent. Hey, all problems are a nail if your hammer's big enough. If you ship two professors, is it a scholarship? Get out. Oh, he wants a PhD. I'm forgetting this thing in English again and Google isn't helping. I can help try and describe it. Dirt noodle. Break dances when touched and or exposed to sunlight. Uh, uh, worm? Oh, worm. Oh my God, this website. At the end of the day, I'm just a little guy. I'm a little guy at the beginning of the day also, so be nice. There's been a British voice in my head saying, bit sad, isn't it? The past week. Andy, are you sneaking up behind people again? Mexicans will look at perfectly good piece of fruit and just douse it in sauces and seasonings, and they're so right. White people just don't season their fruit. Looks like we can't isolate, ignore, ibuprofen our way out of this one, boys. Ignite it is, then. How to respond to Anon hate. One, look at the Anon hate. Two, send anonymous ask to yourself using Anon. Three, make it exactly the same as the Anon hate, except use a homestuck troll typing quirk. It doesn't matter which one. Respond to the fake Anon hate by roasting them for impersonating a homestuck troll. The real Anon now has a choice. They can come off Anon and prove that you changed their message, or they can wallow in silence, knowing that they have failed to bother you. You win either way. I might write that one down. The craziest thing about being alive is that you have to live with other people's interpretations of you. Ugh.
Behold, Sergeant Chesty the 13th, the official mascot of the U.S. Marine Corps, right, stares down his successor, Recruit Chesty, left, during training at Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C., 2013. Death fear when a dog outrages you by default. Wow. Mufasa's death seat made me cry again. Aw, Abby, he's not a real horse, it's a cartoon. D -d horse? Horse? But in my defense, I've never seen it. It's called The Lion King, Randy. How may I fall into a pit of pasta sauce? I can't find my way out. Don't bother me, I'm doing hot girl shit. He's lying motionless on my bed with three separate ice packs on top of me and my one fan blasting straight at my face. Notice, you now have the status of NAPM Seymour video. Take this as you will. Now you guys know how I feel every day. Stop the fucking car. You get there and all the pretty boys look up from drinking from the reservoir and gallop away like gazelle. That needs to be a picture, now. People who try to remind you of your favorite character's horrible actions make me laugh. Let's not forget they did this and that. Yeah, well, I haven't forgotten. I'm just too busy putting them in a cute outfit. This is Vegeta fans. Totally Vegeta fans. Probably a bad RPG idea. Cast cure wounds on our economic system. Hold on. You might need to change your URL on that one. Oh my me, I'm just making the most dangerous bridges known to mankind in order to save a few dollars. Now see, this is why we need to fix the economy in the last post. Why are blondes so pretty? They're like orange cats, but people. Excuse me? Excuse me? I'm stammering in ginger right now. Literally the orange haired person. I. Andy, hold me back. Hold me back. I, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Hold me back! Team Fortress 2 implies the existence of an unseen mysterious Team Fortress 1. I don't know what the notes are on about. Stay safe out there. It's called Team Fortress 2 because it's too bad there's not a first one. There are two teams and they build a fortress. Hope this helps. It's called that because me and my dad both play it and we are two people. Wow. Oh boy, it's summer! I get to eat ice cream and go stargazing and go camping and- uh, uh, Oh, my ice cream melted. I monologued too long. <laughs> Joe Taro invites Kakuin over one day. He turns to him in the doorway and says, I have to show you something. Kakuin is nervous. They go over to Joe Taro's room. Joe Taro locks the door. Joe Taro pulls out a chair and sits at his computer. Kakuin is sweating bullets. Jotaro opens up Twitter and logs into Drill and makes a tweet. Kakuin has never been more unprepared in his life. That truly is the most bizarre adventure. Oh, you're invincible, you say? Easily vinces you. Oh, you're unlovable, you say? Easily loves you. Aww. This might come as a shock to some of you, but saying I'm not informed enough on this particular topic to have an opinion is about a hundred times more respectable than being misinformed. I know in school they often teach us that I don't know is the worst possible answer and that you are better off making your best guess than admitting ignorance. But that's because the educational system is a dumpster fire and this is a habit that it pays to unlearn. Just saying. When my dad moved away from home, he needed a place to live. So he went to look at this one potential apartment. The only questions the landlady asked him were where he was born and when. When my dad told him, the landlady pulled out this huge astrology chart book. She looked at it for a long time in silence and finally said, Acceptable. This is funny and awful at the same time. Imagine not getting the apartment because you are a Pisces born in Chicago. Writing prompt. There's a forest that people say resembles the ocean. A forest where the land slopes endlessly deeper, but the top of the trees do not. Animals, plant life. They're said to get stranger the further in one goes. Writing prompts here is just describing Tumblr and gift wrap. Pirate bard who casts magic by singing sea shanties. Oh my god, I need it. Why is it when you go to the store, you find rows and shelves of feminine hair care, but for men, it's like half a shelf of hygiene in general. All men hygiene products are the same thing, like 15 in 1 shampoo, conditioner, body wash, shaving cream, hair gel, motor oil, gasoline, pen, ink, dish soap, etc. It's the basic life necessities. Like, wh why? Why? Rest in peace, little polyglot dictionary. You sure had a lot of words for Satan in you. No man has all five. A legitimate heir, a trusted advisor, loyal vassals, happy citizens, and content nobles. So true. Hmm. 
Call that a skill issue. I have all five. Okay, you're not gonna believe this. But my advisor... Ah, see? As long as the label on the box remains covered, the pizza is both delivery and DiGiorno. Schrodinger's pizza. You've both been tricked. It's Red Baron pizza. You know, if you disassociate hard enough, you can eavesdrops on conversations you're a part of. I don't remember making this post. You made the claim and then you proved it. Wow. I have something extremely important to say. My aunt's dog has a paw print on his paw. The small little gasp I let out is heard universally when you view this picture. It's so true. Oh my god. Gallade is a white bipedal bishonen like a Pokemon. Hey, what the fuck? Twinkmon. No, that's the Digimon version. Hypothetically, if I were to put the little green dude from Cut the Rope in a claw machine, how much money would y'all spend to try to get him out to be your little buddy? Zero, because I can't possibly afford to feed him. He wants candy cut on a rope in a really weird contraption. Hey, buddy, down here? You can control my gay ass using WASD or the arrow keys. I am so goddamn high right now. I legit pressed the WASD keys to see if Mr. Kind of a Big Deal here would do a gay little dance for me or something. Hang on, I'll do it for you. Da, 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 da. Behold, my new favorite reaction image. Yikes. Uh, ball pit, but it's just these. I dive in head first, cutting through like butter. I am never seen again. Round blue stones take me home to the pit where I belong. I think as a society, we should go back to designing furniture with little feet. It would heal us. Please look me in the eye and tell me this doesn't spark joy. We really should domesticate raccoons. They're already interacting with our garbage and whatnot. I want to get home and hear skittering noises and Bandit the pet raccoon runs at me excited that I'm home and I feed him leftovers like they're a dog but instead of them just eating it, they, they go to a sink and they wash it like raccoons do and eat it and then return to me with adorable expression on their face and the cycle continues. <clears throat> People, we need this. Also crows because crows are also smart. They use tools. Today I learned Yankee Doodle was written by the British to mock Americans. Doodle is thought to come from the germ doodle, meaning fool or simpleton, and macaroni, a flamboyantly stylish type of dress, painting the Yankees as morons who thought placing a feather in one's cap made them a dandy. So you're telling me that stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni would be like saying wrote a G on his belt and called it Gucci. That That's a, a pretty good analogy, actually. U.S. moron came to town hunting for some Gucci, wrote a G up on his belt and his bitch called it Gucci. <laughs> that's good, I like that. I just bought a slow cooker. I might have laughed way harder at this than I should have. But look at him in his little hat. The fact humans can't eat grass to survive in wilderness is a failure of evolution. Are you out there eating grass and trying to justify it again? Worse instincts took over when I wrote that post. I'm sorry. <clears throat> May I have your attention, please? Thank you. That is all. Thank you, honey. Hmm. Huh. Expression. That's the expression of someone who's gay as hell. Well, something along those lines, right? Happy Pride Month, you freaks. Thank you, Sans Undertale. Minecraft YouTube fans will make the most raw, most perfect piece of art and writing you've ever seen. Then you look at the context and it's about a Minecraft gamer called Blimbo Blorbo. I mean, yes, that sounds right. Hey, I made it into a PMC more video. I don't know if I should be worried or a uh, happy emotion. I I help? And you're in one again. Yo, weird little hamster. Who here believes in vampires? Dracula? 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 Hey, is it just me or did your profile picture become purple? Purple. Imagine you getting a job at GameStop and your manager is the type of guy to chuck a whole monster energy drink and then say, yeah, level up, and she does that every day. This is oddly specific, are you okay? I am fantastic, thanks for asking. So my friend asked me to pretend to be her boyfriend because her parents are homophobic AF, but they ended up hating me so much that they were glad when she said she was gay.
task failed successfully. Wow, congrats on being so awful a boyfriend. You destroyed homophobia. The more I learn about the British government, the more it sounds like the setting for a generic young adult dystopia. What the hell is a shadow cabinet? Are they not evil? There's something called a chief whip? A lord commissioner of the great seal? Does he keep the dark one locked away? It, how is this real? Andy, can you confirm or deny these allegations? I don't have any talent. I like to look at grass and I don't have any other hobbies. When people ask me how I'm doing, I ignore the question. Thank you, user 717-262-672838891892829299973. Normalize flopping. It's okay to fail, baby. Sexy even. The amount of people saying, I thought you meant flopping on the ground. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Target audience. Everybody do the flop! You're on Tumblr a lot. This is my house. Normalize blocking people for making you uncomfy. Normalize restricting people on Instagram for being weird. Normalize throwing tea into a harbor. <gasps> I'm so sorry, I didn't realize you made the post. I'm so sorry. No, 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 it's too late. You insulted the tea. Andy, throw them in the kettle. Fuck, uh, what was the name of that monkey from Curious George again? Hey, uh, I think you'd answered that in the question, baby. Yeah, we made your boyfriend the outro to a PM Seymour video. Yeah, he, he's telling Andy to end the video and everything. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Andy, quick, please stop. End this, end this, please! Shower thoughts. Water. Today I learned the brains of rats have a random mode that is switched on when they're in unfamiliar situations. Me drunk at an apartment party. Me sober at my job I've had for over a year. Me and the end I the you me when the I you and me or and the I when you how me when the when I am. Am I having a stroke? Obsessed with stories or the messages that you can't bring someone back from the dead even if you can bring someone back from the dead. Hmm. Jurassic Park. Don't you dare leave this in the tags. An enemy is just a friend I haven't worn down. Are you saying that you're the main character of a kid's cartoon? I'm saying that I'm going to be friends with you is both a promise and a threat. Sleeping isn't enough for me. They need to event sleeping too. Electric Boogaloo. Kind of want to disintegrate like a word's meaning when you say it too often. Yeah, that sounds fun. Let's do that. Pizza, 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 pizza. Millennial culture is sending a horrible post to your friend who is sitting ten feet away from you in the same room and waiting two seconds before hearing it dismayed. No. It's me. I'm that friend. Hello. That's right. Keep looking into those fat eyes. It's too late anyway. You're asking, what's this? But the answer was there all along. Oh, whoa, what's this? It's you. Still thinking about that time I submitted a Tumblr post to PM Seymour and he read it in such a pretentious voice that it gave me a hundred plus psychic damage and made me question my own inner monologue. Well, guess what, Blarbo? I'm about to make you question it again. Why does doing literally anything at night feel like playing a FNAF game? Uh, it's called <laughs> a subconscious response to what FNAF did to you. When I was younger, I covered my hands in Elmer's glue and wait for it to dry and peel it off so I could shed like the lizard I was born to be. Romans. Man, I'm tired of eating stupid salad all the time. Wish there was something we could do about it. Caesar. Like what? Romans. It was fucking terrible. Do it again. Nobody wants to work anymore. Wrong. I never wanted to work in the first place. Idiot. I have realized that while I am not necessarily a fan of people meet and immediately fall in love, I am a fan of people meet and are immediately obsessed with each other. The love can come later, but the absolute fixation should be immediate. I'm concerned about that one. <clears throat> Bedroom eyes. Yeah, man, he's a sleepy guy. Sleepiest guy in the world. Takes a nap anywhere, no problem. He also has neurodiverse in the head. You wish you were him, all right. There's something about the weight of a hammer in your hand. Feels so, so right. Oh, that's somebody who's going to kin to cleric. 
dude living downstairs has been loudly rapping for like 10 minutes, and then suddenly did a high-pitched scream, and now it's silent down there. What happened to him, Fart Gallery? What happened? Don't slap Billy Ivan. That was not the draft button, my bad. I fucking love the character that's like not really the villain, but definitely not a good guy. I mean, he's on our side, but he's definitely not morally upstanding. I am sorry, did you mean Hedgehog the Shadow? Oh wait, that is a nice cock. Dear sir or madame, actually I'm non-binary. My apologies, let me start over. Attention, corporal! Wizard tip number seven, don't let anyone dull your sparkle. Wizard tip seven and a half, especially not the wizard council. Girl who has given up 100 billion times. Hello? You summoning me? Oh, never mind, I'll just leave. Why so Phineas the Ferber? Please, no. I am far too soft and lovely to have responsibilities. Stop! Make your own foot scrub. Uh, one, feet are pretty hard to make. Two, don't call me scrub ever again. Please stop making me read this. Hey, I heard that guy doesn't have a library card. Let's kill him! The New Yorker urged to go out into the street and shout, Bada bing, bada boom, forget about it! Hey! You talking to me? I'm reblogging Humanity has finally found a way to communicate with crabs. We realize they're smarter than us. Now that they know we know, what are they gonna do? The crabs. They start dancing, and oh man, can they bust a move. Loose, foot loose, put on your fucking boots. Meese, whip meese, put my up on my geese. You people are gonna put me out of a job. Yo, we're watching a movie in class. Guess what movie it is, Tumblr? Go ahead. Yes! Oh no. Uh, the smoke is making me all. <laughs> yeah, imagine having lungs. Hey, 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 hey. Have you guys met my Swiss MB friend, Yodel A? Hee hoo. I hate you. Ah, uh, to be the oxygen atom between two hydrogen atoms. Happy Pride Month, y'all. So that's the water that's making the frogs gay, according to Alex Jones. Mm. The neurodivergent urge to do this. Hello. It is I, John, John AI Diffusion. Please don't ask about my hands. It seems that the video is much shorter than PM intended, so I will now recite a joke for you all. Knock knock. Who is there? Accord. Accord whom? Accord ding to all known laws of aviation of- Well hello everyone, please look at this baby ferret. <sighs> oh my god, I love him. How do we explain to 40 plus year olds online that you can't just end every sentence with dot 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 without conveying a really ominous vibe? I love that this post has informed me that thousands of other people my age are terrified by totally innocuous messages from parents, professors, and bosses. I meant to make this meme ages ago when Pride Month was still on, but yeah, gay is Irish for goose. It's finally Pride Month. Time to reblog this again. Be gay, do crimes. You ever met someone from your childhood you don't remember? Hey dude, long time no see! You probably don't remember me, but you gave me a Transformers for my birthday. Dude, I have so many questions, but the biggest was which Transformer did I gift you? And why is that the most formative memory you have of me? Luigi fans who hate Mario are insane, because if you ever told Luigi you hate Mario, he would start crying and then put his duke ups while still crying. Luigi really loves his brother, guys. You don't understand. Mark my words. When the FNAF movie comes out, Matthew Lillard's Afton will steal every scene he's in and join the holy trinity of video game movie villains alongside Jack Black's Bowser and Jim Carrey's Robotnik. That, or alternatively, um, they're just going to put shaggy lines where William Afton will be. Just saying. Happy Pride Month to Chad and Ryan, the little gay cowboy and Roman in the Night of the Museum trilogy, and every man who played volleyball in Top Gun 1986. Yeah, good for them. Just, just, just Pokemon living in the moment. Nothing peculiar about them at all. Ah, Hina Desert. Golurk, count how many grains of sand there are. Okay, one, 
two, three, four. Well, now I just need Golurk saying, holy shit. Today I learned Master's plan to dispose of corpses in space is to freeze them in the airlock and then violently shake the body with a robotic arm until it turns into space dust. Bad astronauts get put in the corpse wiggler. Hey, uh, what the actual fuck? This? Why so weird dragon? Shut up, I love her. <gasps> Andy, it's the bubble dragon from Monster Hunter. A duck with the beak of a platypus? <gasps> oh no. Bisexuals will be like, this is my partner, and introduce you to either one of the most beautiful creatures you have ever laid your eyes on, or a wretched and tortured bug dweller. No in between. Hey. Don't do my bisexual friends dirty like that. Notice, your health isn't increasing or decreasing, but instead going in a direction many considered imaginary. Thanks, I hate it. Calling Jad GBT AI feels exactly the same to me as calling those motorized skateboards hoverboards. Yeah, that, that sounds, sounds, sounds right. Hey, girl, um, we were playing D&D with your boyfriend and, um... Yeah, she has new pronouns now. Yeah, no, she she's doing great. Yeah, yeah, no, she made a girl character as a joke, and, well, <laughs> the rest is history, or herstory. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I guess she's your girlfriend now. Yeah. Finally, a good ending. Loudly going, you're good, you're good, to myself to ward off every memory of every embarrassing thing I've ever done. Mentally shouting, leave it! Like my brain is a dog trying to chew on a pine cone. That's the pine cone of embarrassment. Get away from that. Just saw someone say online that they've never seen mountains IRL and lost my mind. Is this an experience you guys have had? Are there some people who haven't seen mountains? I've never seen mountains, but I live on an island and I lose my mind when people tell me they've never seen the ocean. The ocean. Some people have never seen the ocean before. What really gets me is that some people have never seen either. Kansas is not meant for permanent habitation. Say it with me, boys and girls and nuns. Kansas is not meant for permanent habitation. Yay! Wraps myself in blanket while watching funny videos. Ah, oh, finally I can relax. Slight bit of cold seeps in. Ah! Hmm. Beautiful women named Air Quality Alert are messaging me. What about you? Hmm. You're a lore keeper? Can you tell me about Five Nights at Float Souls? My friend keeps talking about it. I'm not that type of lore keeper, but I have heard of someone who might be able to help you. The famous Sir Matthew Patrick, theorist of the games. If he isn't trying to get you into one of his hoodies first. I'm just kidding, mate. I'm sorry. <sighs> Things are different now that stuff has changed. Yeah. Hey, where do ravens go when the sun goes down? Why do you think the sky is black at night? A gasp. Adventures in librarian inning. The other day, my computer kept shutting off on me out of nowhere in the middle of a class visit. I was becoming resigned to my fate, which must have come off as dismay to the kiddos because one of them gently went, Would you like a hug? Yes, actually, I would, I said. Immediately, several of the kids lined up to give me hugs. This is so precious! Stop it! Pansexuals are cool. If you're pan, you deserve the world. I do? Okay, seriously, beautiful girls named Severe Weather, keep messaging me, please stop. I'm finally off after 11 hours. I work at an infectious disease lab. What about yourself? Oh gosh, like, you make the diseases or against them? Coming home after a long and difficult shift at the disease factory. I'm joining the war on diseases on the side of the diseases. You can't stop me. I'm... It allows your halfling to operate a crossbow from an elevated position while still leaving your hands free for melee. I... I need to see this in action. I know, I know. Gatekeeping the outdoors, that's supposedly bad, right? But I think if you show up to do a hike and you brought a portable speaker with you to play music while you hike, I think, like, hear me out, there should be a gate. And someone at the gate should be keeping you from doing the hike. Playing music in public should get strong social disapproval. Recorded music, anyway. Live music, it's, it's different rules. If you want to lug an entire cello up a mountain, you can do whatever the hell you want. Why do we need scientists to find out how much the Earth weighs? Just put the scale upside down. 
Imagine if that worked, though. Wait. Andy, do you have a scale by any chance? Writing prompt. You are known as the Silent Wanderer, ageless because of time magic. You have lived longer than the oldest of dragons, cursed to never being able to speak or talk in a way people can understand. But that's okay. Actions speak louder than words ever will. I stand before the cashier. They shuffle awkwardly as I present the burger they served me. I glare pointedly. I open the burger. I point. Pickles! Being a DM and writing your own campaigns is like buying your cats an elaborate cat condo and then watching those dumb idiots spend four days in the box it came in eating packing peanuts. Slams the reblog so fast. This is a haiku. You just don't realize it yet. Uh, uh, coconut water. Ah, you've come so far, heroes, but to get to my treasure, you must solve my riddles three. One, what, two, the actual, and three. Fuck! This, this was like the Hex Maniac for boomers. Someone pointed out that when HD2D remake comes out, she's gonna be relevant again. Like, you'd see artists that haven't posted anything since the 90s come back from the grave. So, watch out. I only want to eat things with ingredients I can pronounce. Has always been one of the funniest moral positions of all time. Literally just learn how to pronounce more ingredients then. Truly undefeated in its celebration of ignorance. Can't pronounce Worcestershire sauce, but you know what I can pronounce? Laundry detergent. I literally haven't been normal since I saw a bunch of Twitter users referring to character death as the death trope. Like, girls, that that that's called death from real life. Me every morning. Wow, I'm doing the waking up trope, <laughs> the breakfast trope. <laughs> You know what, I'm just gonna pull the end the video on abruptly. You know, sometimes when you're angry, it's good to just shove your face in your pillow and scream your lungs out. If anyone else ever reread old books they liked when they were a kid and go, Oh, yeah, that's why I am this way. I wish I could chirp like a cheetah. Little squeaky cat noises. Chirp, chirp. A resume is just a reference for your work sona. And if this post makes you angry, you should be angry at your boss, not me. Don't ever say the words work Sona ever again. It's because you're always on that damn journey of self-discovery. Life tip. You can listen to a song on loop. But watch out. Mutuals, if I like your post 20 seconds after you're posted, just know that I'm not stalking you. I'm just chronically online. Mutuals, if I like 20 of your posts in 20 seconds, just know that I am stalking you because I love you. It's 414, which means it's about to be 9 p.m. if I'm not careful. Oh, God. There is no rat more polite than little truffle. Oh, my God. I love him. I want to give him everything in the world. Today, while I was on campus, I passed a girl who had clearly just pulled an all-nighter. Messy hair, socks and sandals, pajama pants, a complete look, and she was talking to herself under her breath. All I heard her say was, Okay, bitch, you're fine. You're gonna go home, eat some cake, and take a nap. It's over now. And honestly, same. You go, girl. I think I've been shadow banned. Buddy, I've been on this site nine wretched years, and I've never gotten more than 17 notes on my post, and I love it here. Get on my level. Hey. Hey, 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 stop break blogging this assholes! If you don't know how to end your Tumblr posts, you can just cut yourself off mid-word and people will be like, Oh, the penis exploders got her. So sad. Men, we need to get sluttier. On it, boss. Changes from my regular t-shirt into identical t-shirt that just has the word TALK on it. I learned that in 1998, Sony had the chance to buy the rights to almost every Marvel character for $25 million. They opted to only buy the rights to Spider-Man for just seven million, stating, nobody gives a shit about the other Marvel characters. And they were right. Daily quests, complete therapy with a rank of S or higher. Something that is both normal to want and possible to achieve. Wow. Yo, I love how normal you are. This sounds sarcastic, but no, it's so refreshing to see people online that aren't parasocial. Thank you? Goodness, I'm tired. Can't even hoity-toy my way to the fridge. Can't smurf the plates. Guess I'll ask Mima to help me Mima. Uh, Salavon, what the fuck does any of this mean? I need to go back to the days where I thought if I prayed enough, Twilight Sparkle would clean my room for me. Simpler times. Just let me go back today. The bisexuals are normal. 
Till the man with long hair shows up and then they lose it. Reminder to clench your jaw, slouch your spine, and put a dirty mug somewhere you will forget about it. Ah, uh, thank you, point and click. I almost forgot. I want shape shifting so I can have bioluminescence and massive fucking mommy milkers in that order. <gasps> oh my god. Bioluminescent mommy milkers! My mom finally bought a toaster. Why did this get notes? We're happy for you. It, it, it's just a toaster. And you bust out one single confetti. They did it. They got a toaster. <laughs> Begins growing on the bottom of your blog like a barnacle. Not cool. St stop. Knock it off! Trying to think up a post with ADHD sounds simple enough until you're staring at the blank text posts and you're in that low power mode and it's just... In my documents, straight up writing it, and by it, <laughs> let's just say, words certainly. Trigger warning lies. Hey! Hey! Shut up. Puck each show heaven. For puck each other's only hell. Your suffering is my heaven. Without any discernible origin, my mom has started using the whale emoji to say good luck. I think it's charming and lovely, so here is the good luck whale for anyone who needs it. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> She hit. I had something funny planned to say on Tumblr, but honestly, I'm at a blank, so I'll just say some random ass words. Flee, floor, scooby, do, da, pee, po, pee, pa, coo. Thank you, hey, coat. Ugh, these sexuality gender type flags are stupid, and apart from the gay one, no one knows slash cares about what they mean. That is. That is the Welsh flag. Gender of the day, Wales. LGBTW, lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, Welsh. Where the superhero and villain have a common friend that they have to hold it together for. Claire is getting married next week. Oh, I can reschedule the death ray. Oh, can you? Aha, I have foiled your evil plan. Now the restaurant will be sit. Wait, is this the place that fired Hannah? Yeah, and they were all dicks to her about it. All right. Well, I guess I can let you destroy it a little. I've defeated you! Now tell me where you've taken Matt! Matt's- wait, what, what? Matt's missing? Wait, you're not the one who trashed his apartment? Oh, for God's sakes. Caroline, you should have just texted me about this. G give, give me my phone, I gotta make some calls. I think that if squirrels had the capacity to use and understand language, they would constantly be saying shit like, I'm such a nut pill stump cell, and so on. How do I delete someone else's posts? You have to gather seven sacred objects of power and shit as a whole quest, I'm sorry. This is the internet. If you tell me anything, I will believe it. When you look up at the sky and see the moon, what you're really looking at is Australia, and vice versa. When Australians are looking up at the moon, they're really looking up at us. I don't think that's entirely true. Then again, I haven't actually met an Australian in person, so... Sus. Why? Why can't I eat the moss? It's out there in the forest and it's free! <clears throat> oh, sorry, I ate it all before you could get to it, my bad. Adulthood is just telling yourself, and after I'd done that, I could finally relax. <laughs> With increasing desperation. Yeah. What the fuck? Well, what if that was your house? What if a sheep lives off the grass on your house? She's my landlord. <laughs> landlord. Really can't wait for the Hatsune Miku Germa Mr. Beast collab where they make a neon blue burger with the Mr. Beast logo and Germa's face on it. And when you eat it, you're sent directly to God. But as it turns out, it's Wave the Albatross that's God. Storm. He meant to say Storm the Albatross. That's a deep cut joke right there. Me. So, see anything interesting lately? The many-eyed creature living in my basement. Your laundry the watching machine was done cycling four hours ago! Oh shit, I forgot, thanks. Silver the Hedgehog and Lucina are the same character. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Lived in a post-apocalyptic world until Dee Dee helped them find time travel. Go back in time to save the world by killing the one who will cause the apocalypse. Can't pull through with killing said person because they're ultimately not evil. Help defeat the big bad but return to their own ruined timeline. Only applies if Lucina is single. Rip girly. Feature in later games for inexplicable reasons even though they don't need to show up ever again due to popular demand. Yeah. 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 
Damn. There's nothing worse than having a good time and suddenly something happens and you feel your mood changing and worry making your heart sink. The Target self-checkout screen. Hope you had fun on your Target run. Me with $51.79 less than I had an hour ago. You're worse than the devil. Welcome to Noodles. What are you? Hey, 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 yo, I'm just trying to get lunch, not have an existential crisis. Back off. There are two entities in your heads. One is a gnome who wishes to make your work silly and magnificent. The other is a dwarf. He wants you to dig a deep hole. What kind of hole? I don't know. He just keeps screaming rock and stone and digs everything. Rock and stone! This is the most symmetrical green onion I've ever seen. I can't eat it. I can't. The average U.S. president has been charged with 1.54 felonies factoid. Isn't true! The average U.S. president has been charged with zero felonies. Donald Trump, who has been charged with 71, is a statistical outlier and should not have been counted. 71 felonies so far. Ah, spiders George at work. You told us that you didn't like disposable plastic drinking straws. We listened. From 2019, all of our straws will be made with 100% Chaos Y-Handers. Oh, yeah! Giant dead time! Let's go! I love Deltarune for a lot of reasons, but I think a great one is that every gay group of kids just looks like that. T-Rex girl, sweet boy, non-binary kid going through the seventh layer of mental illness, multiverse hell, honor students with childhood trauma, and fucking Burgly. Tickle versus Giggle, Federal Court, Sydney, Australia. Deeply unserious country. Ah, the gnomes are participating in the judicial system again, man! Ah. If I ever type colon three, then don't worry, I'm still good. But if you ever see me type <laughs> then be careful. I'm being evil. Watch out. One time I dreamt Velma got renewed for a 13th season. A uh, how bad died. No, 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 no. I'm watching Planet Earth, and then there's this one small scene where the most round seal ever swims past. And I'd just like to thank David Attenborough for bringing us this good, good orb seal. See that right there? That's a blorbo. When my aunt was in her late 20s, people used to rudely ask her, <laughs> Why aren't you married yet? And she'd just reply, just lucky, I guess. Which I think has to be one of the best things I've ever heard. A shocking concept. If a movie doesn't have the time or ability to develop a romantic relationship to a believable level, then maybe they should it include it? Well, whoa, 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 demonic Vulcan, you are talking witchcraft there. And finally, baby kookaburra. Oh my god, look at him. Hey, you know those claw toys? The ones with a really weak grip and make a weird ratchet sound? That's the noise my spine is making. Is that a concern? Yes. And then the 94th Little Piggy built a house out of tungsten, uranium, adamantium alloy. And the wolf was just like, dude. My mom is sitting at the table doing a crossword and she let a huge sigh and wistfully said, it's hard to think of Elmo as a monster. Things Elmo would say in therapy. Hey. How's it feel to be the funniest person on Tumblr? Tumblr, grinder. do the gays not like the letter E for some reason? It's LGBT, not leg bet. The rest of us are saving it up so the trans girls can have it. Bobby, how dare you hide this gem in the tags? Just realize Tumblr has never seen the artifact. What, uh, what did you do to Spamton? Looking at the I am a human checkbox and hesitating a little bit too long before clicking it. Looking at the I am a human checkbox and clicking it immediately because I do not owe honesty to websites. Looking at the I am a human checkbox and closing the tab. I turn off my computer and look at the dark reflection of the screen. I am a tarantula on a keyboard. I cannot be here. You having a bad day? Here's a pool of puppies. I, 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 I won't be there. Well, time to throw the Homestuck is my favorite anime joke in the trash. We need to start over. Come up with new material. Homestuck is my new favorite school of philosophy. Oh, better. Controversial. Love it. Getting food poisoning is a sick irony. Saying what you were supposed to nourish my fragile meat body, not conspire with one section of it to kill the rest. You edible Brutus. You Fredo. You fucking intestinal quizzling! Hey, does someone have a spare brain cell to give my cat? She's orange. Oh no.
Look at this dude. He just discovered his shadow. He's 10 years old. Hey, he's learning. Funny how Tumblr has become the place people go to when there's nowhere else. Give us your tired, your sick, and your cringe masses or whatever. Why is this like an infographic about dysphoria? Why does Snoopy have a knife? That, 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 that's his tail. That's his tail. Oh my god, we really need fucking art comprehension more. Joy-Con Drift is just Link following his impulsive thoughts. Bro, it got so bad for me in Tears of the Kingdom. Link loves looking to the right. Stop it! My friend went away for ten days, so I decided it would be the perfect time to wrap everything she owns in aluminum foil. Why? In the future, everything is chrome. I don't want to sound like a boomer, but... Hey, on a scale of Katniss Everdeen to Ned Stark, how much would you say you trust the government? Dale Gribble. The generation gap between me and people of my own age. <sighs> One time I dreamt I went to a boarding school and taught about the paranormal. And a Furby with abandonment issues started crying ink and we almost drowned. Isn't that how Benny and the ink machine went? Living with my brain is sometimes like that Moonbase Alpha video. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Gender, am I right? You are so right, fam. Hmm, indeed. You would think that the biggest risk of trying out something new is that you won't like it, but it's when it's so good it raises your standards is where the real problems start. Out of provolone? How am I supposed to eat a sandwich without provolone? A girl who put provolone on her sandwich for the first time this week. Calling yourself content creator, boring, overused, proposing that what you create is nothing more but mere content. Calling yourself artiste, fun to say, stylish, makes you sound like a foreign show person about to do something mind-boggling, exciting, fascinating, arousing even. Don't. Happy to see that the Reddit refugees brought a relatively healthy population of twinks and fanboys with them. Good job, lads. Sometimes I think the reason they scrapped their original Hotel Transylvania Dracula design was because they knew that if we got that on the big screen, you guys wouldn't be able to handle yourselves. Oh, it can't be that bad. Uh, oh my god. I think one of my favorite shark facts is this thing that some species of sharks do where they sort of peek their heads out of the water to see what's above the surface. It's called spy hopping and great white sharks do it all the time. Hey man, you got any games on your phone? I eat frozen peas the way you eat chips upon kicking your shoes off and sitting on an old leather couch after a long day. I am terrified of this individual. Hey, you need some? Before this starts getting notes, I have to add that this is not my dog. I don't even know how he got in my backyard. Hey, what's your gender? What are you, a cop? Yeah, his gender is come back with a warrant. Hmm? Hooters is just the American equivalent of maid cafes. I hate that they're right. Hey, how does one turn their emotions off? Okay, first go to the settings. I'm a fucking idiot. I thought that said emojis at first. No, no, no. I'm still willing to try this. Go ahead. I'm at settings. What do next? Mold pisses me off so much. Oh, you have to eat your produce the moment it will leave the store so the fucking hungering dust will get it. And poison your food. What? My role on Tumblr.com is to scroll through thousands of posts and only reblog the good ones for you to see like your personal Tumblr pasta strainer. And sometimes I reblog bad ones just to keep you on your toes. Very upsetting that on this fresh morning in this broken world, I am subjected to emails. I don't know what you're doing with your one wild and precious life, but I'm making tables and word documents. The soft animal of my body does not love spreadsheets. All my life, I was a bride married to amazement, but unfortunately, I also had to attend zoo meetings. Jesus, that sounds brutal. Coming soon to the Nintendo Switch. Your mama, lol, got you. Whispering to myself, I am Shadow the Hedgehog. I am Shadow the Hedgehog. To give myself the courage to send an email. Send, not sent. <laughs> I'm not Shadow, I'm nothing. You're not nothing. You're a fish. Also, if it makes you feel better, I don't think Shadow knows how to use a computer either. Pretty sure he karate chopped one once. I'm pretty sure a video of it online exists. If not, uh, Andy just put, just put up a shadow PNG being thrown at a computer. Perfect. My dog was not phased today. Behold, the oldest text post on Pucky Joe's Tumblr. 
fascinating creature. Did you, oh my god, they went all the way back to 2012. Transgender assassin. Call that a he slash it man. Oh my god, that's so good. Buckle up, buttercup. It's Daddy Issues Day. I hope Reddit refugees have been warned about checking blog titles. One time I dreamt can't keep getting away with these things. Luckily, one time I dreamt is among the most posted blogs in r slash Tumblr, and the Reddit population should be prepared. Not if I change my profile picture. Oh god, no! Can someone from the science side of Tumblr explain this to me? But no want web feet, virtues. Thank you, science side of Tumblr. A velociraptor. Bard. Hmm. Charismatic girl. Hmm, when the bard multi-classes into a druid. No, 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 no. You see, Velociraptor Bard, meaning Velociraptor came first, so it's Druid who will start him to multi-class into a Bard. If it was already a Bard that wanted to be a Druid, then it would be a Bard Velociraptor. You see what I'm getting at here? You enjoyed that, didn't you? You had fun, didn't you? That's what I thought. Now you had better stop screaming at the pigeons, or I'm gonna be... I'm not sure what I'll be, but it definitely won't be good. Stop it. <sighs> If only I had someone to be the Susie to my Noel. <sighs> I said! Baristas deserve a hundred dollars per hour. There's a whole culture of mostly white women whose personality is, do not talk to me before I have my coffee or I'll kill you. And a barista's job is to deal with those people before they've had their coffee. God bless them. There once was a singer of old. Who then broke away from the fold? He won't give you up, he won't let you down. In a word, you have been a limerick roll. <laughs> Modern computers don't beep enough. I miss when they spoke to me in their own little language. Why won't you speak to me anymore, gaming computer? Why? A baby Ammonite is an autism creature. Kids were role-playing with Minecraft figurines, and one of them had their figure up to the other and say, I'm in love with you. And then the other one replied, Sword slash to the chest, and you're on fire. I mean, <laughs> have you seen a Minecraft roleplay? <laughs> it's pretty accurate. One time I dreamt AO3 shut down, and you could only read all works, but not post or update new ones. So what changed? Wizards. In my brain. There's wizards. Oh my goodness, you gotta get them out. Wizard surgery, I need an operation, doctor. <laughs> oh no, I got out. I don't have anything interesting to post today, so instead you can have No Nos Hamilton. <laughs> Nothing can be truly vegan because animals and insects help spread pollen and seeds. Ooh, I feel like that's gonna be a heavy debate in the comment sections. I'm gonna leave it in anyway. Who even uses Celsius? Like, how extra? Oh no. We're the extra ones, aren't we? Full invitation to psychoanalyze me, sign side of Tumblr, but does anyone else listen to nearly all super sad breakup songs, despite having never gone through a bad breakup ever? People look at my playlists and ask if I need to talk. Mm, if I had to hazard a guess, I'd say they're kidding Taylor Swift's music career. Fuck. Those fuckers at the store sold me no purpose flower again. What the fuck do I do with this? You can tell the age of this website demographic looking post. You laugh. My flower's bereft of purpose and you mock me. Help on, you fool! This post transcends language. Girl, the post is ten words and eight of them are cognates. Like, go outside? I don't think a lobotomy would fix me. I just think it would be fun. I go into a lobotomy room, I come back hours later, zero change, but I seem like I had a pretty good time. Worms be like, mm, yes, this is a mighty fine soil. My good sir, where do you find such exquisite dirt? I say, this is absolutely magnificent. I don't think that was British. No, little German boy, don't go into early 2000s America. Wow, das is full of hobbit woman. <laughs> so fucked up, man. <laughs> Love ignoring things. Have you seen this terrible show? No, I'm the ignorer. Can you believe what that company tweeted yesterday? I am the ignorer. Can't stress that enough. Ah, yes, the two genders. Easy, girl. 
Kill, girl, kill! <sighs> another horrid abomination perverting another otherwise beautiful view of Yosemite Valley. This is literally how Pokemon villains talk about Pokemon. This world is imperfect. Hey, literally, how does your mind work? It, it doesn't. How dare you glorify my Blurbo? He is a horrible, crusty little man for a reason. Oh. Today, the girl ringing me up at the gas station said, Okay, have a nice day. I love you. And I said, What? And she repeated, I love you. With better diction. Run, Barmobile, run. We are receiving unconfirmed reports that it is bedtime. Citizens are advised to get into their pajamas and remain on high alert. I, I can't. I, I, do, I gotta do the video. Andy, Andy, get back to your desk. Do not go to bed. Stop it. Stop it. Good boy. The feathers of the striped cuckoo chick are very similar to pine cones. This is how they protect themselves from predators. Hey, thank you for, like, posting a pine cone for reference, but I'd like to see what the bird looks like, too, please. Where's the bird? He gave me a side quest. Quest acquired, pet the kitty. Requirements, pet the kitty. Reward, petting the kitty. <laughs> Where do I get this side quest? Pocket Show, what is the stupidest thing someone asked you? Oh man, come on. PM, hi. As a fellow multi-attraction person, how the heck do you avoid making every character either bipan or ace? I'm sorry, avoid? Why would I avoid doing that? Andy, what are they talking about? Ah, yes. My $2,000 bird warmer. It's worth every penny. I wonder how hard I could throw myself to the ground. Let's find out. Update. Too hard. Hey, guys. My friend just told me I have a stain in my shirt. Embarrassing, I know. And he puts his finger on the shirt to indicate where it is. I'm gonna look down so I can assess the stain situation. How could he? <laughs> I petted a kitty and made a sound like Burp. Oh my gosh, stop the presses, the kitty went Burp. You know, some ruffian once insulted me by saying I had a god complex, which is preposterous, <laughs> as I am much better than god. Cowboy RP. Fell cack first on a cactus. Attention everyone! Do not feed the Reddit refugees! They must learn to hunt on their own, lest they become dependent on the native Tumblr life form for food and shelter. Thank you! Oh, I love reading the newspaper. Scrolling through my mutuals blogs and liking their personal life updates. Ah, the news. Every time I have salmon, it's like, wow, bears are right. I would also stay in the stream for this. They're also right about honey, berries, snapping all winter, lack of pants. So really, bears are just living the best life possible. Shout out to gay men, I guess. Get a thinker. Ah, my coffin-shaped locket is the perfect size to fit one singular ibuprofen. It'll fix me. The Ice Age franchise was the first time I ever was exposed to body horror. Yeah, same. Same. What the hell was that movie? I feel like if an agender person kissed a gender fluid person, it balances out and becomes a straight kiss. Hmm. Hmm. If I got a penny for every time I got a penny, I would have infinite money in the form of an ungodly amount of pennies. Then you could terrorize the townside with them. A Californian, but there's something just a bit wrong and spooky about her. Call that an uncanny valley girl. Good. Good joke. Good joke. The grasshopper mouse of the southwestern United States looks like a standard house mouse, but it is almost entirely carnivorous and is known to kill and consume everything from less homicidal mice to goddamn rattlesnakes, which they kill by jumping on the snake's back and gnawing through its spine. Behold, a bastard. Oh, look at him. He's a little scrunkly. Always in a constant state of, hmm... Maybe I wasn't as normal in that conversation as I thought I was. Me, 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 fucking me. Took a shower. Now I'm 42% less evil. <laughs> Took a shower. Now I'm 42% more evil. <laughs> Walking onto Tumblr for the first time like, Hey, uh, anyone here gay? Society's infantilization of decorated objects is honestly one of the greatest recent crimes against humans' innate desire for beauty. The toothbrush or hairbrush or bike or vanity desk with flowers on it is for kids. This plain 
brave one. It's for adults. I'm literally throwing you into a volcano. Let me have pretty things. Why did minimalism become so popular? It is so boring. Rise and grind. Okay, uh, rest and jazz, bitch. My actions do not have consequences. I I'm not important enough for the plot. Oh my gosh. I have two hands and three foots. Oh, the poor little dude. I have never seen an animal look more distressed. You better feed that to him right now. Hmm. Half guy, half fairy. Guy fairy. Oh my god, it all makes sense now. Biden closely watching search efforts for a missing submersible, White House says. What's that old man gonna do? King Charles III requests to be kept fully up to date about missing submersible. What's this other old man going to do? Put them in a second submersible to go search. What could go wrong? I bet you work at the anti-soup kitchen, which steals soups from the poor. Yeah, I do. What's it to you? You piece of shit. We, we, we just like soup. Hey, you know who else likes soup? The poor! Okay, before we begin, we gotta discuss something. Apparently... The last video Andy edited, a lot of people were upset that the This World is Imperfect bit was done with Giovanni instead of Lysander. I, I guess I have to reprimand Andy for it. The, um, Andy, that was very wrong. Very not okay. I am so disappointed in you. Actually, I'm really proud of you. It was really funny. Please keep doing that. All right, do you have anything to say for yourself? Well spoken. Okay, let's go. Sometimes family is just a teacher and the two most dysfunctional students they've ever seen. I feel like that's a reference to something. My hot take after seeing Across the Spider-Verse. Across the Spider-Verse. Tears of the Kingdom. Sequels that are somehow even better than the original, even though the original was perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah that, yeah, that sounds right, yeah. Hey bro, why did your, why did your health bar just appear? D do you, do you need to talk about something? Is it something I did? Yes. President Biden closes gun control speech with God Save the Queen. What? What do you mean by this? Hey, Google a little calico kitten right now. Well, did you? D did you like it? I can show you more. More than you could imagine. Take my hand. One time when I was nine, I was trying to type fricking and it auto-corrected to vegetable for some ridiculous reason. It was your phone telling you that you needed vegetables, for you are only melon. Imagine that you're Luigi, right? A and you're minding your own business. Nothing unusual, right? Then your older brother just comes to the room and he looks like this. Hey, hey, listen. Mario is just embracing his persona. Leave him be. Do not let social media turn you into an American. Did you mess color? Pavement, sweets, chips, crisps, trainers, honor, aluminium, crumpets, tea top hats, biscuits, scones, Celsius. I guarantee doing this bit right now is just making Andy react in some sort of fashion. <laughs> My boyfriend just referred to Miles Morales as Miles Per Hours. Oh, hi, Tails. Welcome to Mimic Ikea. Don't worry about it. Is Mimic Ikea one large mimic housing many other smaller mimics? Don't worry about it. Update, so I think the ghost of Alexander Hamilton may be after me. The day after I posted my no-nose Hamilton, I got a nosebleed in both nostrils. This has literally never happened to me, and I think he's angry I de-nosed him. Don't mess with Alexander Hamilton. I think all women deserve to be a little bit evil. As a treat, they deserve it. The world is so great. You can hold kittens and kiss them on their little heads. Why are we so mad? If we're mutuals, feel free to use me as a powerful summon during a tough battle. Pretty please, I don't want to be alone. If I was in the Great British Bake Off, I'd leap the picket fence and escape the tent. I'd be across the grass and in the trees by the time Paul Hollywood fetched his gun. Can't stab me. When did we all just start accepting the wizard RP as a regular part of this site? Like day one, I was like, oh fuck yeah, this site has wizards now. Hey, Neil Gaiman. Gay stuff. Some half-assed reply. Useless tag. Tag that does something else, but is still useless. Tag with a typo in it. There is one man who knows how to use this website. And it's Neil fucking Gaiman. You are forced to fight an identical clone of yourself. 
They know everything you know and all of your skills and tactics. How do you win? I go for the bales. They would never expect this. By Talos, this can't be happening. <laughs> Guys, how the fuck do you make a tent? First, you need to preheat your oven to 360 degrees. I am in the forest. <sighs> Fine, preheat campfire to 360 degrees, thank God. Help, the lesbian magical girls are ascending me. Bon voyage, it's been swell. <sighs> hey, hey you. Google fungus evolution. <laughs> Has someone told Redditors about the Tumblr holidays? Neil banging out the tunes? Ides of March? Out of touch Thursday? That one random day in July when we all reblogged the new version of the Jack Skellington excited about Halloween post? No. We need to let them discover them organically. Milky Way's supermassive black hole seems to be getting hungrier and sent Let. Him. Eat. This actually worries me a little. Why? Are you the black hole? That's neither here nor there. Hell hath no fury like an artist who brushes decide to stop working mid-painting. Sentences that only make sense to digital artists. <sighs> yeah. Somebody, statistically, is lost in a cave system right now. And they're doomed and going psychotic in the dark right now, just wishing they'd be at home. But they will die tonight. And I am drunk in my house watching Nostalgia Critic the Wall. It wasn't a cave, but you were close. What do you mean by this? Attempting to have a normal thought is crazy. Like, how do you even simkick? We proudly service three demographics here at Amtrak. Autistic white boys, trans girls, 73-year retirees. We also serve New Yorkers, but not, not with any kind of pride. Which one is Joe Biden? I'm gonna go with all the above. I am not full of hate, as if I were some passive container. I am a generator of hate, and my rage is a renewable resource, like sunshine. Well, I didn't know you were playing D&D &D Barbarian. Cool. Behold, dinosaurs. Oh, they're adorable. I need to see them in Jurassic Park. Andy, if you could, please. Notice, not only do your friends actually like you, they secretly like you twice as much as they let on. They, why? No way. No, 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 no. Guys, don't get mad. I've never seen the Lorax. Or the Princess Bride. What? What? Watch the Princess Bride now! It's mandatory! Do as he wishes and watch it, or else we frame you for killing Papa Montoya. Wait, I'm not prepared to die! How to signal to Goss in public that I am an ally, friend, and lover, despite dressing like a camp counselor? Um, I don't know. Hit the Gino? No, that's emo shit. Don't hit the wings at AutoZone. Worst fucking mistake of my life. Um, buddy, I got news for you. I don't think those wings were chicken. God forbid I do even fun. Hey, can you come collect your freak of a man, please? He's doing things. Let him do things. Freaks of man can do little things as a treat. God. I'm going to be a gremlin today. If I hit you with a sword, will you drop five gold? Depends whether he's an NPC or not. Aren't we all just NPCs in the story the larger gods above have created? Aren't we simply side characters doomed to die for plot fodder? If not literally NPCs, we are at least regarded as such to any old stranger passing us. They may be an NPC to us, but they hold such a deep, expansive backstory and personality. They very well may be the main character in this ridiculous fever dream story God is writing, but to them, we are simply an NPC. To us, they are the same. So in a way, aren't we all? I meant in the sense where when you hit them, they either die and drop five gold or they just make a squeaky toy sound. Uh, oh. Witness. Pregnant ghost bat having an ultrasound at Featherdale Wildlife Park. Congrats. It's a bat. Femboy. Football. Is the femboy the player or the football? They throw him across the field like a javelin. And then someone in the back goes, Um, that's not a javelin! 
I'm sorry, me lord, but the peasants are nailing erotic artwork of you and your court jester to the church doors again. And the ship name, squire. What is the ship name? King Rupels, my lord. Ah! The cringe! Unfortunately, being called pretty boy does make your brain burst into flames. Especially if it is followed or preceded by a little geese. <sighs> oh no. Theory that neurotypicals are the ones with communications issues, actually. You're the one who can't communicate with me, buckaroo. Neurotypicals will play four-dimensional chess about asking you to wash the dishes, and I don't believe this is my problem. Dude, literally, when I lived with my aunt for a bit, she said, Huh, it's supposed to be sunny all day. And supposedly, that was her asking me to put the laundry out on the clothesline? Question mark, question mark, question mark. What? Anxieties, attack! Wait. No, no, not me, you fools! No, 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 not like this! No! Oh, damn it, I've been diagnosed. Hey, I just found Pucky Cho in my old toy box. Excuse me? Pull me back. I'm not legally male. I'm illegally male. I pirated my gender online. <gasps> you wouldn't download a gender! Am I? Writing prompt. I challenge you to a duel, sir! Pick your weapon and make your peace, for I've trained under the greatest weapon masters in fisticuffs. Wait, what? Fisticuffs! There's Todd Howard, the man. And then there's Todd Howard, the amalgamation of everyone who worked on every Elder Scrolls and 3D Fallout games. And now Starfield, I guess. He's gonna need 16 times the map size. There are two forms of the spoken words that will always transcend language boundaries. Singing and swearing. Such as the duality of man. Then may I present to you the most beautiful song in the world. And if you could assist me. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Bugs are so funny. They got lines for legs. Some of my favorite bugs. Nature's so beautiful. Let's say there's a wizard infestation on my blog. And we're not leaving. We like it here. It's very nice and damp. Perfect wizarding conditions. Might cast a magic missile or two. <laughs> I dropped my phone in the shower and the water opened up Instagram and changed my fucking pronouns. Hmm. Isekai title. Humans don't do anything for free. Somewhere out there, there's a guy who spent days, if not weeks of his life, cataloging every stupid thing you can do on Stardew Valley so that you can min-max the fuck out of growing potatoes on a pixel grid for quite literally no reason but that it might help someone else. Yes, they will do things for free. Crouch is to go into stealth. The cracking of my knees alerts the gods. I am immediately killed. Blending all my pills into a creamy pasta sauce and calling it Medicini Alfredo. <laughs> I think this is how Pepino ended up in Pizza Tower. The upside of ADHD is that it makes you a fucking genius. The downside is that you don't get to decide when and for how long you're a genius. Or what you're going to be a genius about. You have a big work project? Mm, no, 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 no. You're now a genius at making board games for seven hours. It's great. So do I just, like, follow anyone? Like, real people? Like, the actual people and not the subject matter? That isn't like following someone to their doorstep. Why, why does this seem so personal? Think of it as you're stray cats and every evening I put out my garbage and you come and eat it. This garbage is all mine. I feel cheated. No one on Reddit told me that Tumblr is a serotonin factory. Keep liking and reblogging my posts, please. Thanks. Just don't fly too close to the sun. Throw me into the sun and I'll get it pregnant. Fellas, gender neutral. You heard him. Ready to catapults. Horrified last night as I mentioned furries in front of my mother and had to watch her explain the concept to my stepfather using that CSI episode as an example. You know, it could be worse. I know that did some massive damage, but it could be worse. Could be the Thousand Ways to Die episode about furries. You're gay. He's mine now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, come back! Ohio goes I must, gamers. Dead leaves? That's called yard salad now, and it's the new food trend. <clears throat> leaves. Wait, where are you going? When in straight spaces, just treat it like an anthropological expedition. Observe communication rituals and mating habits and the general feral interactions. My fellow queer co-worker. That sounds amazing. So, fairies have replaced my baby with the way cooler baby. Not sure how I feel about it. It does fly. 
Pokemon loves just straight up lying about things so much. This is Bink Bonkus. One swipe of its claws can cut down an entire forest. And then its claws do like 12 damage. Not even just stats either. Like, the glowing bulb on Bulbango's head is brighter than the sun. And you can clearly see it isn't. I need you guys to be aware of something. The Pokedex are being written by you, the character, and you're like 12 or 15, depending on which game. You're gonna exaggerate, because we've all done it. My Tumblr is like the pretty cool rocks I find in a walk and bring home. My brother complains about it, but that doesn't matter because I love them. What a strange cat. That's not a cat. It, it let you pet its belly without biting. Dogs like rolling over on their backs, so maybe dog? Look at this weird dog. Okay, so I'm agender, but my partner is pangender. Am I technically straight? You stopped being straight the moment you clicked on my Tumblr blog. Methinks Tadashi's legacy lies not in Baymax's 1000 plus medical procedures, but in the fact that he programmed his robot to act wasted when his battery is low. Such college student energy. Staring at a girl, wishing desperately I could tell her how much I love her. I'm at the zoo. And the girl is a Komodo dragon. Writing prompt. Aphrodite is talking to Ares. You know, Persephone gives Hades flowers every day. I wish you'd do that. The next day, Ares goes to the underworld and gives Hades flowers. Yeah, I'm not really sure why Aphrodite wanted me to do this, but here you go. Oh no, you made the god of war himbo. I like being Hyperberry from Route 214. It's uncomplicated. Train your taglines before they blow you up with 15 gravelers. Yep, sure do. Neil Gaiman, do you support the LGBTQIA plus community? Guess, body headaches make my brain feel full. I know good and damn well there is nothing going on up there. No thoughts, just hurts. Baby bobtail squids look like emojis, but alive. Look at him, autism beast. <laughs> I can't fix him. I can't even make him worse. But I do want him just the way he is. Name the character. Hello, PM Seymour. You must make a normal outro to a Tumblr reading video, or it will be you who is coming from Tumblr. Who, who wrote this? Uh, Jigsaw, I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry they tried to trick you into a trap. I'll end the video normally just for you, buddy. Here you go. Hi, how are you? Welcome to our Gander reveal party. Don't you mean? No. Geese emerge from everywhere. There are no fireworks, only geese. There are no balloons, only chaos. There are no genders, only honk. <coughs> Mourning about how I was never a theater kid despite my love of theater as an adult. <laughs> it's over. Yowie is when I, when I, uh, what I say when I, uh, I stub my toe. <laughs> Yowie. Being on this website is fun because you can absolutely tell when a blurbo clicks in someone's brain. You're scrolling and suddenly out of nowhere there's like 12 posts about the same character back to back reposted by the same person and you just know. Oh, they're a permanent part of their psych now. And honestly, it's a vibe. Go off, King. Don't encourage me, please. I'm already going feral over fictional men and women. All right to make it worse. Andy, put up your favorite fictional men and women. Excellent taste. We're putting my teeth on the front cover of Teeth Magazine because my dentist loves me like a son. Cool. One time I dreamt it was made illegal to refer to the UK as United Kingdom, and the argument was, they were never truly united to begin with. <laughs> oh no. Blood is basically the most normal thing for a sword to hunger for. If a sword gained sentience and started asking me for blood, I'd be like, yeah, I thought, I thought you might say that. Is anyone else in misery, or is it just me and the guy from Maroon 5? What if you were the guy from Maroon 5? Good morning, insane girls. The rest of you? GM, I guess. Standing in the living room, peering out the window, a cold can of soda in hand, and a sense of still lingering wake-up dread. The day looks beautiful outside, in spite of the air being a bit misty due to the smoke from the wildfires. A single thought beats in my head like a throbbing pain I just can't ease. I have absolutely no idea what the hell I am doing today. 
Same. I hate fighting game tiers because the actual main characters are always like D tier while some obscure ass villain is the only S tier character. Due to an exploit where you instantly win by doing a dash taunt, loopy loop, zap, cancel, grab chain into a zippity doo wop combo meal with extra fries and large coke. Fucking bullshit. I take it you lost recently? Awful bold of you to assume I play video games that involve other people. I don't want to make a fighting game, but everyone in the roster is just a US president. No! I don't want to see the tier list for that. Stop. Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom Link is the character of all time. He's the destined hero handpicked by the goddess. He's too anxious to speak. He's the princess sworn protector, friend, and partner. He has eaten rocks. He could best an adult man in combat by the age of four. He's befriended every leader in Hyrule. He has Tony Hawk vibes so strong nobody else ever recognizes him. And the skills of Tony Hawk. He invented pizza. He can smite a Lionel in 20 seconds. He's four foot ten. He's even non-binary. God bless you, Link. Okay, but who's the dad jokes lesbian and who's the other dad jokes lesbian? <laughs> Massive milk bags, bad. No, don't tell me to a one-dimensional facet of my personality and grossly misinterpret me to indulge in your ships. No. They did it, didn't they? Why is it referred to as coming out of the closet? Couldn't it be something out of anything? What wasted potential. Coming out of my cage and I've been doing just guys. <laughs> no, stop. Let me put this in terms you can fucking understand. Our toddler, Falco Mewtwo Martinez, waved ass straight into a stage hazard because you weren't fucking watching him. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but Falco Mewtwo Martinez has massive Christian energy and I'm gonna need you to stop. You know, it's been a while since PM Seymour did a video ending by having Andy find suitable gifts for the noises that Seymour made. Please, if you would, end this video in that way. <sighs> Fine. I hope you're ready, Andy. <laughs> what the fuck was that one? Hi. One day you will wake up and think to yourself, Hmm, I'm cozy. And then you will go back to bed and rest. This I swear, even if it kills me. Thanks, Pocket Chow. Which boy do you think got enough sleep? The guy on the left, since he knows clear disgust with having his picture taken suddenly without permission. The guy on the right has had so little sleep that his grip on reality and emotions has left him. <laughs> I love it so much. What happened to the Skeleton War? You guys used to love the Skeleton War. My boy, this skeleton piece is what all true skeleton warriors strive for. Rules to learning English. There are no rules. Hate it. Hello! Welcome to my ADHD theme game show. So, you were holding it literally moments ago, but now it's gone! Where you look for whatever you were just holding while going increasingly mad! Queen, I love where this is going, but in the euphoria of your excitement, you left out so many important words. I'm just trying to get the mood right. Producer, hey, I need you to create box art that will look badass to American kids. Graphic designer, no problem. Adds picture of Sobbing Orphan. Hey, listen, it worked for me. I immediately grabbed Kubone the moment I saw him. I knocked over a plant in my kitchen, but my cat saw me, so I had to spray myself with the water so I could show the laws apply to everyone. Piff. Hey everyone, check out my new young adult fantasy novel called A Court of Blood, Bone, Ash, Roses, Thorns, Fire, Ice, Stone, Ravens, Enemies to Lovers, Fake Dating, Two Number Nines, and Number Five Large, and an Extra Large Fries. You'll never guess who the villain is. Is it the government? Hmm. Synonym rolls. Just like Grandma used to make. Can you just stop? I give you 128 by 128 transparent ibuprofen PNG. For when you and the Discord server want to take ibuprofen together. Thank you, I needed that. I just, I just poured some refrigerated water because it's hotter than quesadillas outside and I looked at how the water poured into my cup and went, Man, that's a good damn render. That frame rate's amazing. And I had to look up and squint to make sure I understood what I just said. Someone's been playing too many video games. Anyway, how's your afternoon? I thought we owned fancy brown sugar and proceeded to fucking destroy my coffee!
Oh. Oh, you poor child. Once in the fourth grade, this guy got 2% on his math quiz, so everyone called him Milk for the rest of the year. Sounds right. One of the best things ever is when you find a really talented artist who's obsessed with an obscure, popular character and just lovingly draws their underrated guy 30 times a day, even though all their posts get five notes. These people are the backbone of society. They're thriving. They're mentally unchained. Good for them. Y'all ever refuse to consume a piece of media you know you'd like solely because you think it'd make you feel more emotions than you want to? Like, yeah, the purpose of art is to make you feel, but I'm feeling plenty already. Thank you very much. Andy, put up that show that does that for you. Oh, man, that's a good one. Twilight Princess. Funniest Zelda game ever made. One of the reoccurring minor plots is that a three-year-old with the mental capacity of an adult is trying to abolish capitalism in the big city. There's a Yeti couple living in an abandoned mansion, and the guy Yeti is like ten times the size of, and more visibly than, the girl. Yet they make him a male wife. You collect insects for a little girl that is insane about them and gives you strange and off-putting dialogue about each bug every time you give her one and practically threatens you if you try to leave her home without giving her bugs she doesn't have yet! One of the modes of transportation in this game is being shot out of a giant cannon by a depressed clown and landing on your feet with no injuries. There's a spaghetti western-style minigame where the objective is to talk to 20 of her cats. A chicken attempts to flirt with Link and they made Tingle into a sexy man caricature. I completely forgot about the Uoku while making this post. This fucking thing! And of course her son too! Every time someone says that Twilight Princess is too grim, dark, and serious, I want to point them to this post. It's a very silly game. Look at Link's face as he grabs the Uoku. Tells you everything you need to know. And finally, after all of that... Bagpipes McMuffin. Adopt him today. You know how people are always talking about Andy end the video? What about Andy start the video? Otherwise, there's no video to end. Yeah. Oh god, they got us in for a loophole. Andy, do something to start the video! No. Scientific fraud is the most baffling thing ever to me. Like, do they think they're just going to make a huge breakthrough and no one will notice that it's fake by trying to replicate the results? Yeah, actually, I just discovered how to turn plastic into gold. Oh, oh you want to know how I did it? Starts running away cutely. God's greatest punishment was putting one trillion cool rocks on Earth and no one with eyes big enough to see them all. God's greatest gift was actually putting one trillion cool rocks in Earth so that we might never run dry of the joy of seeing a cool rock. I've been such a fool. One of my students downloaded an image for Project Today and named it Before My Eyes, png.jpg. Can you just expel a kid for that? Hey, I'm gonna go sleep. Can you watch my apple while I'm gone? Thanks. Oops. Took a wrong turn somewhere. I took a nap and I woke up and all these goddamn spirits! My favorite activity is looking outside the window over the back of the couch with my dog. And barking at the children walking past. You! Yes, you! You get me! Some straight guys are absurd. I once asked one if they'd kiss a boy for $50,000 and they said no. At that point, it's not even gay, it's just the best option! She's a lesbian girl now, if anyone wanted an update. <gasps> oh my god. If a computer girl was transgender, would she go on CRT? Hmm, component replacement therapy. They're upgrading their GPU, girl processing unit. Pronouns in BIOS. Uh... I cannot stress enough to Tumblr that they do not need to change the site. Do not try to be like Twitter. Do not try to be like Reddit. Do not alter how the site works. Tumblr will be the most popular social media site if they continue letting all these other sites implode and leave the frog button. It's good. I just don't like masculine women. Oh, literally, I'm so sorry for your loss. I hope you get well soon. Can you imagine not liking muscular women? What's wrong with you? God, I hope she steps on me. The Korok crucifixion posts are even funnier when you remember that Link is the only one that can see them. People of Hyrule will see this boy drag an empty cross behind him and think, Ah, oh, he's finally lost it, huh? I'm pretty sure they were already thinking that in Breath of the Wild. Reblog the money pigeon for a financially stable future. I reblog the money pigeon because I love him. Look at him. 
Hmm, Shawty got them evil bottom jeans. Boots with the curse, the curse they say. The whole necropolis was looking at her, and then she hit the flower wall. It's unreal how all of my favorite characters have exactly the same traits and hobbies and diagnoses as me. Oh, have you been tricked into loving yourself? Oh my fucking god, is that what just happened? Greek mythology, but instead of punishing the girls Zeus cheated on her with, Hera befriends them and Zeus goes insane, living in constant fear that his wife and his mistresses are plotting against him. Oh, that would make for such a more amusing story, Kimmy. Hello, fanfic writers, it's time for a vocab lesson. Wanton, sexually immodest and promiscuous. Wonton, a type of dumpling commonly found in Chinese cuisines. Your character should not be moaning like a Chinese dumpling, okay? Thank you and good night. Either way, things are gonna get... <sighs> steamy. Get out! Me watching the Olympics. Where, where's Mario and Sonic? Where are they? Everyone stop what you're doing immediately. Look at this baby bunny. Look at it. Look at its tiny ears. Oh my God, it's too small for this cool world. Guarantee you there's someone in the comments right now thinking about putting that rabbit in their mouth. Don't. Showers don't cut it anymore. I need to be pressure washed. Just peel that skin right off me. Yes, hello, I am an official real tumbler. I like to do things like Plinko the horse and observe the Florbo shows. I'm blending in so good. Oh no, Randy, your, your, your stickies. It's my opinion, so instantly vaporized by the beam. Rest in pepperoni, Pucky. We knew ye well. Pucky is still alive, but just some Mr. Chaos, isn't he? Yep. If the air is wibbly-wobbly next to something that is meant to be normal, then you should stay away from that thing. It's probably hot. Or radioactive. I just realized the first Cars movie and the first Thor movie have the exact same plot. I want an explanation now. A man on the road to greatness ends up lost in a small desert town with seemingly no hope of getting back to the life he knows. Over time, he falls in love with someone there and learns to be humble. With this character development complete, he's able to return to his life, never forgetting the people in that desert town. Oh my god, stop! No, 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 no! Behold, a super wiener. It is an exceptionally large elephant seal at weaning age. Super wieners may reach their large size by stealing milk from nursing female elephant seals or by being adopted by an additional mother elephant seal. This guy may look like a super wiener to some, but he is a super winner to me. His doleful eyes and violently self-destructive tendencies have captivated me. I want him. A Japanese slash Italian inspired demon. A Tony, if you will. An exceptionally large one at that. If you wash the dirt from a fallen ice cube, are you using your water with water and hope that there's only water on the water you will add to your water? But what if I'm drinking tea? Who puts ice in their tea? What the fuck? Oh shit, it's a British person! Take your iced tea and run! You know how in musicals the couples will start singing the same song no matter how far apart they are? What if that happened in real life? What if you were just at a restaurant one day and you started randomly singing because your soulmate decided to sing a duet in the shower? Oh my god, what if this is why you get a song stuck in your head? Because your soulmate is singing it somewhere! <gasps> it. Got. Better. Jesus Christ! I don't want to be soulmates with someone who keeps singing Cotton Eye Joe. Or do you? Gaze, lend me your strength. I shall give you my soul, and you will be the most powerful gay to ever gay. Thank you so much. Lesbians, lend me your strength. I give you my heart. So you can have the power of all the lesbians and be even more gay than before. I am forever in your debt. Aces, lend me your strength! I give you my essence. So that why you possess the power of gay as well as not having just one, but many aces of power up your sleeve. I owe you my life. Transgender and non-binary folks, lend me your strength! I give you my titties because I don't fucking want them. Behold, the Scrimblo Basket. A scream basket. I love it. You know, we have seen PM Seymour end his videos with silly little noises, but I think it's time we switch things up a bit. Now, I don't know if he'll actually see this, but if, keyword if, he does, because I know the guy's a busy guy, I want to see him end a video with silly Minecraft villager noises. Hmm. Huh. I don't know about that one. Hmm?
Y'all are here talking about wizards on Tumblr. I don't think there are actually any wizards on Tumblr. Hey, wizards on Tumblr, how about your proof? Yeah, you must not wish, yeah, Lord. For the sake of YouTube, do not unreverse that. I want an unreblog button. When you press it, it unreblogs the post from one account. That sounds amazing and terrifying. Daily checklist of affirmations. One, nothing wrong with me. Two, nothing wrong with me. Three, nothing wrong with me. Four, nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with me. me. But something's got to do. Today I learned that the word hello only began being used as a greeting when the telephone was invented, credited as a suggestion by Thomas Edison to be used when answering the phone. Alexander Graham Bell, his competitor, preferred ahoy. They took ahoy from us. Another cringe moment from Edison himself. Writing prompt. Four roommates are extraterrestrials who have taken human form in the hopes of learning about Earth's culture. Unfortunately, each alien is from a different planet and believes the other three are normal humans. I would read this. Oh my god. Starring Jack Black, The Rock, Jeff Goldblum, and Taika Waititi. And Mads Mikkelsen, the human neighbor that is weird enough that all the aliens think he's an alien too. You know, we've seen him end and now start the video. The natural continuation is, Andy, please continue the video. Anyone else find it extremely weird whenever they hear birds chirping in the middle of the night? Like, do you have any idea what time it is? You should have been in bed hours ago. What you doing? Whoever said diamonds are a girl's best friend clearly has never met ibuprofen. Actually, literally accurate. The song originates in the 1949 musical Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, while ibuprofen was invented in 1961. It's time to change history. When I was in post-op after top surgery, I had a good friend there with me to help recover. But the nurse didn't get the memo, and when I woke up, she was like, Okay, I'm gonna go get your girlfriend and bring her in to see you. And I remember being so zonked on anesthesia and so disoriented, I just laid there thinking, Wow. All that and they're bringing me a girlfriend too? This place is amazing. Can you imagine that's how it worked though? Congratulations on your top surgery. Here is your medically prescribed girlfriend. Throwback to the time my classics professor asked, does anyone know who Sappho is? And I immediately replied, she's the OG lesbian. And my professor yelled, exactly, and wrote the OG lesbian on the whiteboard. Best professor. This website is basically the seagulls from Finding Nemo, except they say mood instead of mine. Mood? Hey, you know that trope where a guy ends up being destined to do some great task that a woman spent her whole life preparing for and she must train him until he surpasses her and he eventually beats her while sparring in their sexual tension? Mulan is that dynamic but reverse. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Where are my notes? Y'all know I'm right. Hey, stop putting raisins in things I would otherwise enjoy eating. You are being unreasonable. How dare you make me read this with my own two eyes? me every day of my stupid little life. If I don't get a little treat in the next five minutes, I'm going to die. Hmm. Tamagotchi core. Come on! Sometimes the only way I know my roommate is still alive is the $30 cheese that appears and disappears from my fridge. Mouse roommate. Rat behavior. The reviews are in. Weaseling my way out of a one-sided fairy bargain with a masterwork of circuitous logic. The Elf Lord congratulates me for my cleverness in a tone of genuine admiration, then immediately stabs me in the face. <gasps> Not the face, that's where the thinky thoughts are! I genuinely, how do you use Tumblr? What do you post about? Do you just do whatever on there, like how you do it on Twitter? It just feels like so much more... professional. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker said professional! Andy, get everyone to point and laugh at him! Do you ever just meet someone who's like the human version of unnecessary comments on text posts? Yes. Mm, there's a special place in hell reserved just for me. It's called the throne. <laughs> Bisexual? You mean you're experimenting? Kicks test tubes an alien hybrid under a desk. No, 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 what do you mean? I touch myself whenever I think about you. More specifically, I rub my temples because I get a headache because you're awful. You can follow me for the fandom you enjoy, but watch out. I think some of you need to eat a slice of cheesecake and listen to ambient rain noises for 10 hours. I never once had a slice of cheesecake in my life. In fact, I thought it was something that only existed on the IPU, iCarly Pear Pad Universe. I, I want to study you. Well, for a lab. Why would I need a dog? 
These are actual people online. Me, coming to terms with the truth about myself. Hmm. Unfortunate. The dumbest thing is when parents say, this isn't how I raised you. Like, yes, it, it really is. You literally raised me. And here I am. The fuck you doing? There's something deeply, fundamentally wrong with you. Can we kiss? Girl, that is not lol colon three. That is concerning and manipulative. Daily quests. Survive for 10 minutes with a werewolf. In a fight. If you thought of something else, you gotta like, comment, and subscribe right now. I did not baby girlify that man. Look at him. He's doing it all himself. Now, I don't want to victim blame, but maybe if he didn't want to be called baby girl, he shouldn't have been such a baby girl. Just a thought. You know what I mean? This amazing sculpture is called The Caring Hand and is located in Glarus, Switzerland. It's... It it's a palm tree. I hate you. Um, pining lesbian ghost who does things for her very oblivious crush. I is this anything? Andy, write it down. I want to stick my hand in it, but no, I do not. Something terrible in me wants to flip this table. So my new English professor is my uncle, only he has no idea because he hasn't talked to my mom in about 20 years. So do you think I should tell him? You know what? Never mind. He's a dick. I'm going to go talk to my mom to get dirt on him so I can blackmail him if the need arises. You should write a story about a boy for an assignment that includes loads of life details about him that your mom tells you so that it's obviously him, but change all the names, then hand it in and be really confused if he questions you about it. Oh my god. Power move. Duolingo has more gay representation than the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Can you please elaborate? There are more gay characters on Duolingo than the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, w was, that not, was that hard to follow? Me drinking a glass of water and a glass of coke at the same time. A sip of the substance that connects me to my ancient ancestors. And a sip of edible battery acid. You know, I've met some pricks in my time, but you are the fucking cactus. I just left my job. I couldn't work for a man after what he said to me. What did he say? You're fire! Why do text posts these days sound like vaudeville humor? Seeing a black and white cow is always so damn awesome. It's like, oh, hey, I know that guy from my kindergarten ABCs. It's him. I love how the monkey from Aladdin is just called dad if you translate Abu. Are you telling me that he calls the monkey daddy? All right, that's, that's enough. That's enough internet. Andy, blow up this post with your mind. And the video, thank you. Okay, bye. This is the only, this is the only thing in our new apartment so far. What else do you need? I mean, look, it's perfect. We all love urban fantasy, but we have to contend with the fact that if monsters were real, some of them would be normies. Your werewolf boyfriend posts on LinkedIn, the tentacle horror you've been thirsting after as a Disney adult. You did it. You made unimaginable horror within man-made comprehension. When I was but a wee baby high schooler, I made this on my school-issued Chromebook and posted it to my OG Tumblr blog. And I just knew, in my heart, it would do numbers. But alas, it only got one note. Me on my other blog. We can fix what once went wrong. How does Tumblr even work? Do you just, like, talk to yourself until people are like, oh, you know what? I like this one. This is exactly how it works. So please stop asking me how to how to use Tumblr. That's it. That's it right there. Ah, I see. The slutty library of Alexandria is down. Hmm. Don't like that. Fandom-wide mandate that everyone has to rewatch the source material in steady intervals to minimize intense fandomization of tropes and characterizations that happens when people go without new source material for too long. Like renewing a license to practice every few years. That's that's a really good idea, actually. Hey, Tim Seymour, when will the Fianna only fans come in? <laughs> From the moment I saw you, I knew I was going to spend the rest of my life avoiding you.
People need to learn the difference between Muppets and The Muppets. A Muppet is a style of puppet created by Jim Henson. The Muppets, trademark, are a dysfunctional polycule of vaudeville performers, all of whom also happen to be Muppets. Did it hurt when I told you to Google it and I was right? Walking into an obscure fandom like, Hey, this trash can ain't big enough for the two of us. Stop saying you're investing in posts. I don't make jokes for any kind of economy. Banker-like behavior of you. Nurturing this post while it's young. Supporting and cherishing this post in its infancy. Of course you have blue skills and cooldowns. Hey! Shut your mouth! Hmm, would be asleep right now, but there are fictional characters to imagine in emotional situations. Uh, you know how it is. Me at 15. Why do my parents watch fucking HGTV all day? Me at 25. Damn! The granite countertops really do make that kitchen pop. You never respond to my ask. I'm kind of peeved. Not gonna lie here. Oh, gee, funny you mentioned that because. Hmm. Konnichiwa, gamers. I think that if you stood behind Keanu Reeves and called out John, he would turn around. Between John Wick, John Constantine, Johnny Mnemonic, Don John, Johnny Utah, John Wall, John Rain, Jonathan Harker, and Johnny Silverhand, I'm willing to bet that some days the poor man has to take a minute. Key John Reeves. 400% of mental illness is thinking that this is probably just how hard life is for everyone, and you just can't handle it because you're a whiny baby who isn't trying hard enough. And then the doctors tell you that it's not the case. It's all fun and games until you fall in love with that video game character. You know the one. Right, Andy? Fear-based villain who lives a double life as a therapist to learn people's greatest fears and insecurities. That sounds terrifying. Fun fact about me. When I was six years old, I sent so much hate mail to the president, the second Bush, that the mail carrier had to tell my mom I needed to stop before we got FBI'd. Damn, what did that six-year-old say to the president? Oh, you wanted chocolate atop your Boston cream donut? Well, too bad. That chocolate's for the paper bag, you stupid bitch. I wonder if Yuri Lowenthal has an evil twin named Yowie Heinz. Yowie Heinz, none. The default way for things to taste is good. We know this because tasty means something tastes good. Conversely, from the words smelly and noisy, we can conclude that the default way for things to smell and sound is bad. Interestingly, there are no corresponding adjectives for the sense of sight and touch. The inescapable conclusion is that the most ordinary object possible is invisible and intangible, produces a hideous cacophony, smells terrible, but tastes delicious. And yet, this description matches no object or phenomenon known to science or human experience. So, what the fuck? This is what ancient Greek philosophy is like. Cannot believe that a 70-year-old senator actually uttered the phrase ignorant slut about Bernie Sanders on the Senate floor. So what actually happened was Senator Kennedy said to near a tandem, you basically called Bernie Sanders everything but an ignorant slut which apparently is a reference to an SNL sketch from 1970s, which is odd, but also not completely batshit crazy. But what is crazy is that Senator Lindsey Graham in the background, who was not actively part of the conversation, then interrupted to respond with, well, I wouldn't say ignorance. So whilst technically no senator referred to Bernie Sanders as an ignorant slut, Senator Lindsey Graham did quite state firmly that he is in fact a slut. Just a very knowledgeable one. Might fuck around and teach the crows the difference between humans and scarecrows so that your puny games of deceptions are futile. Cool. I heard from a Discord server that pill bugs remove heavy metals from the soil, so I made this meme and posted it there. And guess what? Nobody reacted or responded to it. I will not let my comedic genius be ignored! Andy, put some, put a little bit of doom music inside that bug for him. Thanks. But everything turned upside down. I will admit I am not immune to pretty girls or their fire spells. It's hot. You know, I could be the person writing one-time verification codes. 873-726-290-971-041452. 
667656. It just comes naturally to me. They look so good. Life hack to get artists to draw for you. Find the commissions page and give them money. Wow, this hack really works. It's real. I've done it. Probably bad RPG ideas. The elemental plane of pointless bullshit. The source of Karen's power revealed. Isn't this also just the Wheel of Wild Magic? Wait a second! Moby Barbie? In my Barbie movie? Those cowards wouldn't say Barbie dick. <laughs> hey guys, I found a picture of Amphro sitting down last night and I'm losing my fucking mind! Fucking astounding! Oh my god, look at the way she sits! Hey, it's, uh, it's been a while since I've done life updates and things like that. <laughs> I know I kind of keep things sort of in the dark where it's just like, here's a Tumblr video, okay, guys, see you later, bye. Or just give you updates of how Cosmic Wonders is doing. Um, I felt like it was time to sit down and talk a little bit more personally about everything that's been going on in life without oversharing, obviously, but just so you guys aren't in the dark of what's going on behind the scenes. The first big question I get, uh, at least just with Cosmic Wonders crowd, is when is episode two coming out? Because I know I share a lot of stuff. I know I do a lot of small little silly things. And it also, oh, and it always comes back to when are you going to bring out episode two? And honestly, I am trying to do it to the best of my abilities with everything else that's been going on. I, I think I've talked about this before on streams and everything like that, but in terms of most of the music, the sound, animation, drawing, everything like that, that falls within my hands. And it's not trying to be like, I know how this is exactly gonna work, so I want control of it. It's because <laughs> The amount of money Cosmic Wonders is making right now and how much I could throw into it, majority of the budget is going to the voiceover talents. I cannot afford anyone else at the moment. But it's just not. And I don't want anyone to try to do the work for free, so that's why I don't take up any offers like, I'll do it for you for free. No, I believe everyone should get paid what they are owed for the show. And because of that, I take on more responsibilities than I can muster in the span of trying to meet the deadlines to get the episodes up, while also trying to gather money for it through other means, aka the late night Tumblr posts, which is why you've been seeing that more frequently than usual. And also, uh, the way YouTube has been lately in terms of ad revenue i've also had to do more just so i can you know pay andy fairly and everything like that and then the other kicker is i've been trying to move into my own space again and the place i've been looking at has been going through renovations and what started as like a two-month project has now been rolling into almost over a year so I've been putting things I wanted to do on the back burner, like more streams and more behind the scenes stuff, and even other things to do on this channel besides like my Tumblr, which is another subject I want to get into. I love doing the Tumblr videos, I really do, but I have been wanting to do other things so badly. Like you have, majority of you have seen the video I put up of all the other things I've been doing lately. like. At this point, I've been doing this for so long, some people forget I was a professional voice actor first and a YouTuber second. Now it kind of seems like the pendulum has swung in the other direction where more people see me as a YouTuber than they see me as a voiceover talent. And that can get confusing and a little upsetting when you are the person who's been like, you know, who gets messages all the time saying, well, I can't believe you got this gig because I didn't think they would hire a YouTuber for this job, which, you know, is kind of demeaning on both ends for voiceover talent. Like they're not good enough to be a YouTubers, but YouTubers aren't good enough to be voiceover talents. It's, it's, it's a never ending battle with the internet. Back to main subject, just wanting to do more things. What kills me every time is I'm not, I'm saying this 
on about the platform, not the audience or my audience. I feel like the platform as a whole punishes its creators when they're not doing what the algorithm wants them to do. So if I share a video that has nothing with the words Tumblr in it or tagged as memes or social media readings or anything like that, YouTube will punish me not only for that video, but Tumblr videos when I do them again, because I, I've, I've seen the, the views go down slowly. And you could also just chalk that up to maybe just lack of interest lately. That's fine. People grow out of things and that is totally understandable. But this has put me in a never ending cycle of doing the videos to fund a project that I'm also trying to get done, but I don't have the time to do the project because I'm doing the videos in order to keep financing the project while also trying to get updates on a new location to continue doing the projects that I can't do because the place isn't available to me yet. And I still am trying to get it. Do you see how that fucks with someone's mind? I also feel like it's kind of tanked my life socially a little bit. Like I, I feel like my partner and friends I talk to online, like occasionally, and mainly it's just about work things is like the closest social interactions I get apart from the D and D stuff that I do with Andy and Amy and Etsy and Keston. But it's, it's hard. It's, it's really hard. Because I, I want all of this to succeed. I want to be able to have the time to do, continue doing things. And I also want to be able to afford a future for myself. Because I also think most people don't realize this. But I am 33. And that is a very awkward age to be at. Because you get different messages from different sides of the generation. Like, I can't believe you're at this age still trying to do this stuff. But also on the other end, oh, you're so young. You have plenty of time to do all these things and don't give up. That also really just fucks with a person mentally. Like, what do I believe? I know I should just form my own belief system, and I do. I, I think I'm still capable of doing all these things. But it gets really, really frustrating to see both ends all the time. Even when it's not even directed at me, it's like at another creator that's doing similar things years younger than me, like just other like online readers that are probably in their 30s or late 20s. And they're still like, I can't believe you're this old and you're still doing this. It... Yeah. <laughs> I also should clarify in this day and age that I am not like doing this for pity points or anything like that. I'm just telling you all this to let you know how things are going over here, because I know sometimes it's easier to just, you know, leave things up to interpretation, just post the videos and walk away. But I, I know I do a lot of things. I get asked for a lot of updates. And I just want to let you guys know that's where I'm at right now. I am struggling, but I am still going. And I'm still going because I know I will eventually hit a finish line. That said, I thank you all for your time. I'm sorry this has been just, you know, a, a blank screen of probably the pink, something like that. Just do you want to, you know, have the bouncy PNG tuber or the little rabbit just to try to break the sincerity of this? I wanted this to be personal from me to you. I'm also sorry that it's very late at night, but I felt like this is the time of the day where I could feel the most honest. So I'll see you guys around Tumblr video tomorrow. We'll go back to being funny. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.